Hello students, welcome to BTEC 360. We'll cover IIT Jodhpur now in terms of what are the kind of cutoffs that you have, what kind of JE advanced rank would get you into IIT Jodhpur and what kind of branches will you get and the kind of companies that come for placement, the average salary, the median salary, the place in percentage, all those things we'll discuss now. And before I move further in terms of presenting data to you, please subscribe to BTEC 360 if you've not already done that. It will be important for you, it will help you. Right. Now coming back to IIT Jodhpur, it was established in 2008. So it is about 18 years old. It's an INI, which is what all IITs are. It is the 27th best engineering college according to NIRF ranking. Now that is a very good number. 27th best engineering college is a very, very good number at this point in time, right? It's spread across 852 acres. So one of the largest campuses that you see for any IIT. Total students is 1930, of which 81% are boys and 19% are girls, right? And about 78% students come from outside the state of Rajasthan. Which is, again, uh, I have a question mark on that, but I'll let it be like that. When I look at the placements of data that they submitted to the government of India, it's the data that they submitted to NIRF. So when we look at that data, in 22, 23-24, 56 students were admitted four years back, of which 418 graduated. Whenever I talk of admitted now, it's not all 23-24. This is actually admitted four years back and got into the placement zone now. Remember that it's always tagged properly as far as we are concerned. 418 students were graduated, 322 were placed, 94 opted for higher education. Now this for me is a big, big question mark. I think the rank also reflects on this kind of a thing because typically when you actually have from the, uh, you know, graduated about 94, which is when you look at the number, it's about uh, close to 23% people are moving for higher education. This is not possible. In a good institution, not every student goes for higher education. They go for placement because it's a B-Tech. It's, it's not an ICER, which is pure sciences, where people are very clear that they want to pursue post-graduation research and all. Here, very clearly, the institution is trying to show higher placement percentages because when you remove, when we talk of placement percentage of 99.38%, 418 on 322, when you look at it now, the placement percentage is 75%. But when you remove the 94 from 418 there and start working out, then we suddenly are looking at 324 on three, uh, 322 on 326 or something like that, which is when the 99.38 percent comes in. So very clearly, IIT Jodhpur, the data is suspected. That is the reason why also they also got the 27th rank. The 27th rank is not justified if you were to ask me at this point in time. Right. But anyways, that is what the numbers are at this point in time that, uh, you know, they are dealing with a 99.38% is what they claim, but in my opinion, when I look at 322 on 418, it's only a 76% kind of a placement, 76-77% kind of a placement, which for me is a question mark. Because the other thing that's happening here is, look at the median salary, what was 16 lakh rupees, has fallen down to 12 lakh rupees, which is a 25% drop. Drop, 25% drop. What was 16 lakh median salary has fallen on dramatically to 12 lakh rupees. That is very, very shocking for me. And that has happened at IIT Jodhpur. So there seems to be a place and percentage drop also. Uh, you know, 100, even here if you see, you know, 256 students were, uh, you know, uh, were placed here and 322. But the, look at the increase, 106 students increased. But the placement number of students increased is only 60. So 40% of the increased capacity also they could not fail, which is what seems to be happening across the board here. And the median salary also has fallen by 25%, which is very, very shocking for me. What are the cutoff at which you will get into IIT Jodhpur? These category rank, these are all category ranks. Right. And 2918 general category will get BTEC CS. 456 EWS category rank will get you BTEC CS. 1440 category rank will get you, OBC uh, category rank will get you BTEC CS. 882 category rank SC will get you BTEC CS and 403 ST rank will get you BTEC CS. Similarly, BTEC AI 4212 uh, for general category, electronics 6228 for general category, BTEC electrical engineering 6824 for electrical engineering. Category rank 456 EWS for CS as I told you, 628 for AI. Category rank 101 and EWS for electronics and engineering, 1066 for it, uh, you know uh, electrical engineering. OBC NCL, uh, AI 1828 category rank, 2857 category rank for BTEC electronics and engineering, electrical engineering 3000 OBC category rank. SC 1001 for AI, uh, uh, BTEC electronics and engineering 1839 and 1703 for electrical engineering. 
एस टी फोर सिक्सटी टू फॉर ए आई कैटेगरी रैंक एट नाइन्टी टू फॉर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड इंजीनियरिंग एंड सेवन नाइन्टी वन फॉर इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग मूविंग फॉर द अदर ब्रांचेस नाइन फाइव सिक्स नाइन जनरल कैटेगरी फॉर मेकानिकल केमिकल लेवन थाउजेंड सिक्स ट्वेंटी सिक्स सिविल एंड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फोर्टीन थाउजेंड थ्री जीरो वन मेटीरियल्स फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड थर्टी फोर एंड फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड टू सेवेंटी एट फॉर बायो इंजीनियरिंग वेरी क्लियर दे सीम्स टू बी ए ट्रेंड वेर यू नो द कोर इंजीनियरिंग ब्रांचेस आर हैविंग ए हायर जे ई एडवांस कट ऑफ रैंक फॉर यू टू गेट इन टू एनी ऑफ दोज थिंग्स यू ऑल्सो हैव द कैटेगरी रैंक्स यर प्लीज टेक अ पिक्चर ऑफ दैट रिमेंबर वी आर ऑलवेज टॉकिंग ऑफ gender male because we remove the extra numeracy seats that are given to the girls because it's you know disturbing the normal curve that we want to create and we also remove the disability all this data is there in a compre comprehensive guide book that we created which you can click on the link below and download the ebook it has all iits all cutoffs all placements all placement percentage all median salaries you have every single data point that is required at every level here go through that this is only for explanation purposes that we creating this what are the companies that come for placement the biggest of the companies come for placement here uh, google goes for placement microsoft amazon adobe salesforce d shaw goldman sachs so you have big tech companies you have investment banking companies you have consulting companies like deloitte you have electronic companies like samsung and, and flipkart morgan stanley investment bank jpmc media.net zomato tata motors mahindra and mahindra tata steel vedanta reliance manufacturing companies bullet electronics especial bpcl the P, uh, the psus are going there isro is going there drdo is going there which is right very very good hcl tech cognas and tcs infosys i say banks are going there mathworks caterpillar hdfc so you actually have all kinds of companies going there for placement when we looked at data of the number of students who passed out of iit you know jodhpur and where are they working currently we found 52 students are right now working we actually got 9718 students who claim that they studied at iit jodhpur and have and are working somewhere of which 52 are right now working in microsoft because microsoft goes for placement at one point i'm 178 students were working at over a period of time and they would have got better offers moved on from there but right now 52 are working in microsoft in deloitte 39 are working evi 26 are working bain and company one is working so that's the so you actually have software uh, and consulting that we listed out but in the mom companies which is the meta apple amazon nvidia and google when we look at it eight students are right now working in meta right eight are right now working in meta uh five are working in apple 69 are working in amazon seven are working in nvidia and google 54 are working because google obviously goes for placement google microsoft and also you will actually have larger number out there like 177 students at some point i worked at google of which currently 54 are still right now working which is a decent number that you can deal with when you look further in terms of where are the domiciled where are they placed then we suddenly realize that 94% of them are working in india which means 6% are working in the globe 6% are working around the world right now of the 6% 3% are in usa which is again a good number right 30% are in rajasthan this would be a anomalical number whatever it is delhi 10% are working karnataka 10% are working but 3% are working in usa which is a decent number because it's a very very young institution give it some space and time you will suddenly realize over the next 15 20 years there about 10 15% of their uh, you know of the alumni of iit jodhpur would be all over the world which is what will happen because they will grow they'll get into a company will grow in the ladder within the company or outside the company also in a different company and that's how the scaling up happens but the students who are doing it uh, who gone into iit jodhpur seem to be doing very very well my only concern at this point time that i come back to use this number uh, when i look at this number uh, it is very worrying for me because there seems to be very clear you know under representation of the number of students placed when you show 94 of the students like in good iit is not this kind of percentage of people go, go, going for op opting for higher studies doesn't happen this seems to be happening here this is a red flag a warning signal that there's something wrong because you actually have a 25% drop in median salaries and almost 25% of the students not getting placed or not opting for placement which is an alarming number and that you must look for if you want me to cover any other engineering college of your choice please write to me in this mailbox here i'll be happy to cover that thank you so much namaste